Hello everyone, this is 22 Tiger Dude, and I am going to be reviewing the pilot episode for Agent Carter. You know what this show is going to be is that it's going to sit around Captain America's love interest, Penny Carter, after the events of Captain America being frozen after when he crashed in that plane, and you know the war's over now. So now Agent Carter is trying to find purposes, she's doing missions, and that's all you have to really know. Now for this pilot episode, I'm not going to spoil anything, I'm not going to really go into details, I'm just going to kind of give you my fresh thoughts on what I thought of this. And you know, honestly when I heard about this, I was actually very interested because she was one of the best parts about Captain America the First Avenger. I thought Haley Atwell just did a tremendous job. Yeah, she's a beautiful woman, but she was also just all around a very strong female character. And I really actually loved her as Captain America's loved interest. I love the back and forth that Captain America and Agent Carter had in the first movie. Now, even rewatching Captain America the First Avenger, that ending still really gets to me, honestly. So I was honestly very happy that we're gonna see Agent Carter again. And it's nice that Haley Atwell is coming back. Now that I've seen this, what did I think of Agent Carter? I actually think this was a very well done pilot episode. This is exactly where Marvel needed to start to get the series going. And you even have Dominic Cooper. You don't really get to see him all that much here as Howard Stark, but when you do see Dominic Cooper again, it is really nice. This one did air with two episodes. I'm not gonna go by episode by episode. I'm just gonna kind of go through what I really liked about pretty much these two episodes together. I really liked the journey that we had with Agent Carter Carter. You care for her and you do feel sorry for her because you could feel how much she misses Captain America, the love of her life. And the thing I absolutely loved is how it started. How this episode started was perfect. It opens with that scene in Captain America, the first Avenger. And it's not a spoiler, it's just to kind of give you an idea. But it opens with Captain America. He's about to crash down in the ice in that airplane. And that's when him and Agent Carter were speaking to each other, pretty much saying their goodbyes. And, you know, it opens up with that. Then it just cuts back to Agent Carter looking through the window. So right off the bat, how it opens was perfect. And the missions we see Agent Carter go through in the pilot episode and the second episode that they aired as part of the two hour premiere, it was really interesting. And Agent Carter, she definitely kicks ass. And you're just all like, man, this woman, she is just really badass. So it's gonna be pretty cool to see Haley Atwell actually carrying this whole show. I also did really like how this show, as expected, does have humor. Now, it's not like when Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. started out where it goes really overboard to the humor, where it's all like, okay, we get it, you don't have to add humor every single second. No, it's not like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. when it started. I'm enjoying Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. now, just so you know. I do watch this show and I'm enjoying that it's not going overboard with that now but agent carter how it started off it adds humor at the right moment it doesn't go overboard it feels natural whenever it's added that's what you're supposed to expect from something that's marvel I enjoyed the overall humor aspect i am enjoying the missions i'm enjoying agent carter the whole vibe to the 1946 because this does take place in 1946 it looks really beautiful the music that gives that 1940s vibe i really really enjoy the music that's put into the show. So all around, I was actually very satisfied with the pilot episode and the second episode. Now, if I had to point out problems I had with the first episode, I did feel like a few moments, just a few moments, did drag. And the finale was a little bit rushed. And then for the second episode, well, it's kind of the same with the pilot episode where only a few moments dragged, but that was really it. And I did find myself enjoying the second episode just a little more over the pilot episode. Oh yeah, and one thing I learned, Agent Carter, man, can she pull off being blonde? Just wow.
I've really been enjoying what I'm watching here. I think Marvel could do something really interesting and really fun. You could tell it's going to be one of those shows I'm going to have a lot of fun with. And it's going to be a show that's going to give me more Agent Carter. So I'm glad we're going to have a show that's going to be focusing on her. Her own story, her own challenges. That's going to be satisfying. So to rate both episodes, the pilot episode would get a 7.5 out of 10. It was a good start. It was very satisfying. And, you know, it was a lot of fun. And the second episode would get an 8 out of 10. A little bit better than the pod episode. And it was all around just so much fun. So everyone, those are my thoughts on the pilot episode for Agent Carter. Well, as well as the second episode of Agent Carter. Since two episodes premiered as a two-hour series premiere. And of course, they did show the Ant-Man trailer at the end of the premiere. So that was a nice way to end the Agent Carter two-hour premiere. And I did review the teaser trailer for Ant-Man. So if you want to go ahead and check that out, I will leave a link in the description below. So everyone, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think of Agent Carter. Did, did you think it got off to a right foot? Did you think it was where the series needed to begin? Or did you find it disappointing and you felt that it could have been a whole lot better? Oh, and speaking of Marvel, I'm wearing Guardians of the Galaxy. This is 22 Tiger Dude, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power! Fuck yeah! And the way how once he puts on a suit, you actually see him shrink, which I think looks absolutely badass. So the teaser gives you little to no details. 